All right, so I got a keto crate today. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. Like I haven't already looked. Okay, so I just opened this. Um, I do look online to see what's coming every month before I get it though, before it's even shipped. I'll look to see what's coming. But let's open it up and see what we've got. Here's our little insert. Um, looks like we have a keto fruit pizza recipe. <clears throat> and there's always a story or two in it. Um, some other stuff. I got a Primal Kitchens save $2 on a meal. We have a, another Primal Kitchen, save $5 on collagen fuel or peptides, cancer, save a dollar on condiments, dressings, and sauces. So we got some coupons from them. All right, now, well, here's something else. Oh no, this is one of the items. So we have a sport tea packet. Um, naturally citrus sweet. I don't really like citrus in my tea, so this probably won't be my favorite thing. I'm trying to see if it has an ingredients. Imported premium green and black tea, Siberian eleuthero root, ginger, mate, vitamin C, trace minerals, electrolytes, natural flavorings. Less than 2% of caffeine. Looks like you just sit it in hot water like you do tea. I don't see anything that tells what electrolytes are in it, how much electrolytes are in it. Um, it's probably no calories, I would assume, because it's tea. Nope. Nope, nothing that tells me that I see um, exactly what electrolytes and stuff are in it, but you make some tea. I'm actually gonna have a sweet tea recipe before long on here, I believe. Um, so next we got Sweetwood Smokehouse, um, Jalapeno Smoked Meat Stick. That looks like a, that's a pretty thick stick. That looks pretty good. Does it have any nutrition or anything on here? Made with grass-fed beef, pork raised without antibiotics, no nitrates, no MSG, gluten-free. Oh, here we go, it does. Ingredients. Pork braised without antibiotics, grass-fed beef, sea salt, encapsulated citric acid, jalapeno flakes, spices, which include red and black pepper and celery, sugar, cultured celery powder, uh, which is celery powder and sea salt, and a cherry powder, which is contains turbinated sugar, dehydrated garlic, and it's in a colored collagen casing. Um, there's a website to go look at nutritional info. I'll leave the nutritional info up here on it. Um, I'll go look that up later. Uh, I got the website up here. I guess I could tell you. Uh, the tea, it says it's 50 cents. Uh, that's what Keto Crate says it is. And the pork stick, it says is two dollars and it says you get jalapeno or original and i got jalapeno um next we have these uh collagen peptides from primal kitchen it is unflavored i'm not sure how you use these or what they're used for honestly the ingredients is just bovine collagen peptides it is no carbs no fat 10 grams of protein for 40 calories. So this is 10 protein, 40 calories. I've never used collagen stuff, so I don't really know what the purpose of an unflavored one is. Um, but they also have them flavored apparently. And that, it says is a buck 50. Now we got an Atlas protein bar. Peanut butter and raspberry, so kind of like a peanut butter and jelly, maybe. Why well, I didn't call it that. Um, the bar is 220 calories, 11 fat, 15 protein, 22 total carbs, 10 is fiber, 7 is vegetable glycerin. Is it at 5 net carbs, which is what it says on the front. 
All right. Ingredients, 100% grass-fed whey protein concentrate, peanut butter, doesn't tell us what the ingredients of the peanut butter are, non-GMO tapioca fiber, vegetable glycerin, peanut flour, peanuts, water, sunflower lecithin, dried raspberries, Himalayan pink salt, natural flavor, adaptogen superfood performance blend, which is some kind of ashwagandha extract, maca root powder combination, and then monk fruit. It does also have two grams of sugar. Um, I'd seen these Atlas bars before. It's actually a little bit lower carb and a little bit better ingredients than it used to be. It's still, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about vegetable glycerin. It's not an ingredient I've tested or used or any of that kind of stuff. So I might do a glucose test with this if people want to see that. Next, Country Archer pork stick. This is pineapple. I really like the Singing Pastures pineapple beef sticks. I actually have a subscription to them for the Refan Original sticks now. Be interesting to see if this is as good as theirs. Here we go. Well, they have the nutrition info in here. I like that. I like that. Ingredients, pork, pineapple, which is a mixture of pineapple and cane sugar, water, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, honey, cultured celery powder, which is celery powder and sea salt, cherry powder, which is cherry powder and salt, ground mustard, granulated garlic, natural liquid smoke, coriander, black pepper, onion powder, colored beef collagen casing, which is paprika and beta carotene. So this is 100 calories, seven fat and seven protein. Um, carbs, it is two carbs, one of those is sugar, so two net carbs to one of them is sugar, because, I mean, you're going to have that from pineapple, but they also have honey and cane sugar and that kind of stuff in here, um, in small doses apparently, because it's two carbs. Next, we have Raw Rev Glow. Uh, this is creamy peanut butter and sea salt, right? The Atlas bar, it says is $2.99. But you can get 50% off a sample pack using the code KETOCRATE through December 31st for new customers. So that's a pretty good discount if you want to try them. Uh, let's see, Raw Rev Glow. I've had these before. They've been in the Keto Crate before. They More than once, I've had these in the Keto Crate. Um, $2.25, it says. And it seems like these don't taste that bad. They're pretty decent, but I don't think they have the greatest ingredients. And I can't even find the ingredients. The ingredients, oh, the ingredients are with the nutrition, on the nutrition label. That's why I didn't see it. Anyway, this bar is 180 calories. 11 fat, 15 protein, 17 carbs, 14 of that is fiber, so three net carbs, two of those are sugar. I don't see any, any other sweeteners. Um, ingredients, Raw Rev Superfood Blend, which is peanuts, pea protein, brown rice protein, raw organic hemp protein, a raw organic virgin coconut oil, raw organic chia seeds, raw organic sprouted flax seeds, isomaltide oligosaccharides. I don't want that. I don't want that in my ingredients. There's a lot of stuff in this. I don't want in my ingredients. Which is a prebiotic fiber from tapioca and sea salt. Not my favorite. If my wife doesn't want this, I may put it in with my giveaway, which by the way, my giveaway video is coming tomorrow. I'm gonna to have two winners. It's gonna be a lot of stuff, but I might add this to it if she doesn't want it, because I don't want it. And I'm also gonna add this to it. Snickerdoodle Keto Nut Butter. I'm allergic to cinnamon, so most of these Keto Perfect Keto Nut Butters I don't need, and they keep giving them to me with all my orders. Uh, anyway, let's see. This is, find it on the website. This is $8.49, it says. Uh, I think it's 16 bucks for a two pack on their site, something like that. They're having a sale right now, I think, for like 40% off if you buy four even, 
or they have a code I think that gets you a discount right now, two free if you order so much stuff or something. Um, but let's see, there are six servings in here. Serving size is two tablespoons. So this has 180 calories, 17 fat, and four protein, nine carbs, four fiber, three sugar alcohol. So it leaves it two net carbs per serving. Uh, suggested use is to drizzle over ice cream or spread on a keto bar. If you got a good peanut butter sauce to put on ice cream, I'll leave a link here. I, I have a pretty good one. Um, ingredients, almonds, coconut, macadamia nuts, erythritol, MCT oil, cashews, cinnamon, and sea salt. <clears throat> Next, this will also be in my giveaway because I don't like these seeds much. But these are pumpkin seeds. Uh, let me find them. It says they're five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Scuda sea salt pumpkin seeds. Uh, one third cup. It's forty-five. It doesn't say how many is in the bag. One hundred and forty grams. Forty-five. So less than four servings, but more than three. Yeah, just over three servings in the bag. So it's not an exact. I don't know how much is in the bag. But anyway, a third cup of this has 250 calories, 19 fat, 14 protein, seven carbs, five of which are fiber, leaving it two net carbs, and one of those is sugar. I'll put that in my keto crate, or my, my keto crate, I'll put that in my giveaway tomorrow also. Next, we have a muck pack bar, and we like these. I've never ordered them, but I've gotten a few free, and me and my wife both seem to like them quite a bit. Her more than me, because she really likes these granola-y type bars. Um, it says this is two bucks. It is coconut cocoa chip, or cacao chip. Let's see, nutrition. 140 calories, uh, 13 fat and four protein. 12 total carbs, four fiber, half a gram of glycerin, and 5.5 grams of allulose, leaving it at two net carbs. 12 minus four minus six, yep. Checking their math. Ingredients, almonds, coconut, allulose, soluble tapioca fiber, palm oil, vegetable glycerin, natural flavor, sea salt, alkalized cocoa powder, unsweetened chocolate, Cocoa powder, mixed tocopherols, which is a vitamin E, um, says for freshness. Sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract, uh, which is some of that stuff is sustainably sourced. Allulose. I don't know. I can't find the little symbol. It's too small. There's the monk fruit bar, or the monk pack bar that uses monk fruit. Here's one I'm kind of excited about. It's Halo Lot. Um, so we got one of these in Keto Box or Keto Crate two or three months ago. And they're pretty good. They're not that far off from Keto Farms, but last time I got the, che the cheese flavored one, um, which I've had in Keto Farms. I really wanted to try the ranch and you will get one of them in this one it says, uh, and we got ranch. So I wanted ranch. Um, what I like about this is there aren't almonds. I wish Keto Farms did not have almonds. I wish it was all pecans. Or walnuts. But this, I'm hoping there are no almonds. I said it, but it says crispy Gouda cheese and pecans. This pack is 270 calories, 24 fat, 9 protein, 6 total carbs, 2 are fiber, so 4 net carbs, and 2 of those are sugar. Yep, 4 net carbs. Matches what they say. Ingredients pecans, Gouda cheese, uh, Ranch seasoning, which is buttermilk powder, yogurt powder, cultured non-fat milk, sodium citrate, then onion powder, garlic powder, yeast extract, sour cream, sunflower oil, natural flavors, spice, tomato powder, non-fat dry milk, sunflower oil, and then more sunflower oil. So there's these, I'm, I'm pretty interested in trying those. Now we have a Primal Kitchen Mint Chip Protein Bar. Nothing I'm gonna eat, I don't like mint. Um, somebody will eat it. Let's see, one bar. 
200 calories. This is a small thing for 200 calories. There's 200 calories in there. Um, but it's 200 calories, 16 fat, 8 protein, 10 total carbs, 6 are fiber, it's around the 4 net carbs. Does that match? Do they say? Unless they have all allulose and not mentioning it, it looks like that's what it is. Um, two of those are sugar. Ingredients. Almond butter, coconut oil, soluble tapioca fiber, eggs, unsweetened chocolate, egg whites, flaxseed, honey, cocoa powder, almond meal, water, sunflower lecithin, cocoa extract, vanilla extract, sea salt, organic monk fruit extract, peppermint oil, organic rosemary extract. We have some more Quavos, dill pickle flavored. I only ate like five or six of these last month and probably in the keto box on Southern Keto Crate this time. Um, I, they were flavored like dill pickle. They tasted great. Just Quavos aren't my thing. Um, so I might, if nobody's going to eat this, I might throw it in the giveaway again tomorrow too. Why not, right? I don't need to keep it in my shelf. Um, ingredients or all let's do nutrition first. This bag has 140 calories, 10 fat and eight protein, eight carbs, four fiber, so four net carbs. Matches the front of the bag. Ingredients, it's kind of shiny, so it's hard to read. Egg whites, ghee, clarified butter, milk protein isolate, inulin, which is chicory root fiber. A seasoning blend, it's maltodextrin, salt, white distilled vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, Sugar, baker's yeast extract, spices, citric acid, lactic acid, natural flavor. We got coconut oil, avocado oil, contains 2% or less of the following. Tapioca flour, chia seeds, psyllium husk, sunflower lecithin, flax seeds. That's it. Um, I don't think I told you how much the last thing cost. Right, that this Primal Kitchen, it says it's 275 And I got a bunch of coupons for their stuff. So it may be cheaper if they, if I got one of these coupons I got. These Quavos, it says, are $3. There's coupons for almost everything, Keto Crate, which is one that I stand to find something you like. Like if I like, if I like these, I got a code for 15% off an order, that kind of thing. Now, something I just mentioned to my wife last week that I saw that was out and I wanted to try. And I actually got them in my keto crate. I get to try the Kiss My Keto butter cookies. You know what might be good with this? Some of this? Maybe some chocolate? I don't know. Let's see. These, it says, are five bucks. Um. Half a package, so there are two servings in this. That's a lot of cookies. That's a good serving size. Um, so for half this package is 170 calories, 13 fat and three protein, uh, 12 carbs, five or fiber, that leaves it at seven. Excess sweetened with four grams of allulose, so I'm gonna guess there's four per serving. So four plus five is nine, that leaves it at three net carbs uh, per serving. Ingredients, almond flour, unsalted butter, which is cream, natural flavors, then allulose, soluble tapioca fiber, natural flavors, eggs, MCT oil, which is coconut and palm kernel oil, baking soda, guar gum, xanthan gum, salt, and muck fruit extract. Um, so there's the last thing in the box. And unfortunately, it just accidentally opened. So let's try one to Oh my gosh, these they smell like butter cookies. I think I'm just gonna have to dip them in chocolate. They taste like butter cookies too. They're not quite as crunchy. Um Well, thought I had one opened already. Well, this one is the one that's open. 
Apparently I just put this lid back on top. Try a cookie with some marshmallow thing. That's pretty good, but I think these will be really good. Just dipped in some milk and chocolate, like half the cookie dipped in. But that is it for the Keto Crate for August 2020. Um, and I'll be posting a video tomorrow that will have the giveaway stuff. Um, so I'll be looking forward to that as well.